Hello, everybody. Good to be with you. So uh, I want to talk to you today about the single excuse that we all use uh, for not being awake right now. And that doesn't make any difference whether we're in the pre-awakening stage or we're in post-awakening or, or uh, if you're waking up right now, I guess you're not using any excuse at all. But if you're not, if you're not consciously awake, and of course that's what I mean, is I'm talking, I'm not talking to viewers, I'm talking to the same thing that's cutting this video, I'm talking to myself. And when you're not awake through any individual unit, uh, so to speak, then there's always one reason, there's always, or one excuse that you all, there's no reason. <laughs> but there's always one excuse that you use. And what's that single excuse? It's, if not for this, and then just fill in the blank. It's, if not for this, right? If, um, if, it, if, if I just didn't have this work that I have to, to do, if I didn't have to really, you know, I've got exams coming up now and I can't do it now, of course. And I'm having, you know, I'm, having a, I'm in the middle of a divorce or I just had a fight with my husband or I had a just, just, um, just got a parking ticket. <laughs> we don't care. Just fill in the blank. I'm too busy. I'm not busy enough. I'm on vacation. I'm not going on vacation. The, uh, and I, I'll never forget a guy, <laughs> an email I got from a guy who was trying to schedule an awakening session before he went down to South America. And then he wrote me at the last minute and he said, you know what? I mean, he had been trying to just get crammed in, right? Please slip me in. Please slip me in. And the last thing, last email I got from him said, well, you know, I am going to South America. And if I just, you know, and if I just wake up and just fall apart, blow up or whatever, then I'm not going to be able to handle all these students down there and everything. And so I'll just, I'll get with you when I get back. And he never got with me. See, if not for this, if I wasn't going to Central America, if I didn't have all these students relying on me, then see, I might have a chance at, at waking up. But but, but clearly I don't right now. If not for this, I'm so stressed. Oh, God Almighty. I, I'm, I'm, fi I'm fixing to go into surgery. I just came out of surgery. The, I may have to have surgery. <laughs> it makes no difference. Fill in the blank. But you fill in the blank with your, if not for this with your version of if not for this. What is it? Is it that my mind is racing too much? Let me tell you something. Your mind can't race any faster than mine was racing just prior to waking up. I promise you. So this idea that we got to calm the mind and then I'm going to wake up, good luck with that. See, anytime I'm putting something in that I must do something else and I'm putting that in front of awakening, then what I had done is I've created a permanent story of future. See, I think it's a temporary story of future. I don't even recognize that it's a story of future. I think it's what's going on right now. What's going on right now is that I can't wake up. See, but that's not true. What's going on right now, you can wake up. That's a matter of fact, you can't wake up anytime other than right now. And I know that sounds strange, but it's true. You can wake up right this moment here today if you just will drop your story of future. I got to go see this teacher. Um, even I got to talk to Fred. You can drop that if you want. I'll go broke, but you'll be awake. <laughs> what the hell? It sounds like a good trade to me. So it's, there is, um, I got to go to this retreat. I have to take this course. Um, or, you know, I got to get my, I got to get my robes sewn or I got to get, you know, or I got to, I got to divest myself of my robes. I got to get in a program. I got to get out of program. It's, it, what is your story of future? I woke up a guy yesterday who was well into a specific tradition, been teaching for years. And, um, but had developed a story of future as to why he really couldn't be awake right now. And we, we investigated that claim 
and we found out it did not hold water and he left the, our session a very happy man. This is a guy who gets more YouTube views than I do. <laughs> He's much better known than I am, but it's at least in Europe. But it, but it was, it didn't make any difference. He had come up with a story of the future. He'd come up with a reason why I can't be awake right now. He bought into it, and guess what? His experience was of not being awake, because listen to this. It's a magical thing, but I want you to really listen to it. And it's confusing when you first hear it, but just let it mull in your mind. Everybody is awake. Everybody. Your mother's awake, your dad's awake, your sister's awake, your wife's awake, your kids are awake, the, uh, Donald Trump is awake, uh, Putin is awake, the people, the members of ISIS are awake. It just, I yeah, know, it's just, ah, oh, I can't be, so, but it's true, see, because there's just one thing going on, and it's awake. See, there actually is no Putin, Donald Trump, or Fred Davis. Not that I want to put myself in that group necessarily, but there really there there appear to be these individuals and all of that, and I get that. But then and it, they, we feel like and it appears that we're separate, and it appears that some of us are more skillful than others, and it appears that some of us are quote a, a more a, more awakened than others. I've had I've been around people who were <laughs> seemed more awake than I was, but I woke them up. I mean I've had. People coming in here just looking like right. I mean, I was ready to I was ready to, to, to put on my robes and join them, right? That's the truth. And I'm not making fun of this. I'm just saying that that we can have this we can we can talk the talk and walk the walk without being consciously awake. Because that's what I'm talking about. Is it while everybody is as if there isn't everybody, but we're pretending there's an everybody. So with the idea that everybody is awake, what I'm saying is that there is is but not everybody, only a very tiny percentage are consciously awake. See there's no difference between me and my neighbors. We are in the sense that we are both equally awake because there's no we're not talking about a Fred, Fred's not awake and my neighbor guy is not awake but awakeness is awake here and there but here's the funny thing and and this is awakeness talking to awakeness about awakening I kid you not so listen to this carefully so you are awake matter of fact you are awakeness itself but here's the deal the experience of being awake and not knowing it. So there's a, just unconscious awakeness. The experience of being awake and not knowing it is identical to the experience of not being awake. You hear that? <laughs> Do you feel that? See, you're having, you awakeness are having an experience through that body. You're experiencing a world that's only here because the body's here. In the absence of the body, there's no world. There's no wick, there's no world. The wick being this body that operates, that, that, that is the food of consciousness. It's, a, it's what burns, right? So allows burning to occur is a better way to put it. But it does eventually burn out. This is a wick, just just like when I used to have Zippo lighters, once in a zillion years you'd have to replace that wick because you'd burn one out. But it would really take a long, long time. These, it takes a long time if you're, uh, if you're 15, but if you're 64 like I am, these days are flying by. And that's the truth. And I don't think it's going to get any better as I get older. So the time for you to wake up is not when you get older and more mature. The time for you to wake up is now. The time is not to, the time to wake up is not when you have just found out that you have a terminal illness and now it's time to call Fred Davis. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's go ahead and wake up now. So then, because here's the thing, there's a whole aspect of practical non-duality that we never talk about. I was going to write a post about that, but I can see I'm going to talk about it now. 
So <clears throat> Betsy and I have been talking about it lately. There have, because we've been primarily talking it because now she's really involved in the teaching. She's doing everybody's appointments and we're talking about people. She's getting to know people and all that kind of thing. So we talk about the, the we always talked about the teaching in general prior to her coming on board, but now we talk about this teaching as far as, as, as individual students do and go. And what we're noticing is, is that a hell of a lot of people and this is not a curse on you. This is just, I'm not even saying it's going to happen to you. I'm just saying that just I just noticed this thing, and so does Betsy, is that a, a hell of a lot of people that are involved in this process, and I don't mean whether you're waking up or not. I mean, if you're watching this video, you're involved in this process. You're waking up. You wouldn't be watching this video if you weren't waking up. You're waking up. It's a, it, 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 don't take a lot of, you know, don't take a lot of comfort and rest in that because it might not happen in that unit's lifetime. But you're waking up. You, awakeness, are in the process of waking up. And you can, and it can, and that process can happen right this minute, actually. It's, if not for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're awake... you're not consciously awake. Consciously awake is when you recognize, my God, what they told me is true. I'm already awake and I just don't know it. Now think about that. The odds are, if you've been around non-duality any time at all, you've heard that. And you've then and you've heard oh, half the teachers tell you that and half the teachers tell you it's bullshit. Well, let's go with the half of the teachers who don't say it's bullshit. If there's a bunch of teachers out there that are telling you that you're already awake and you just don't know it, then what I'm going to tell you is what's where do we get together to hatch this plot, right? Where do we get together to decide to well everybody let's tell them this, you know, like let's con let's all confuse let's get together and let's confuse all of our students by telling them that they're already awake and they don't know it. Let's just lie to them. Does that make a lot of sense to you? That I would just come out and lie to you? Does that really? I mean, I've been around a while now, and there's an awful lot of people. You can look at the website, look at the look look at the the um, oh, what are your testimonials? I mean, you'll just you'll get your finger will get tired of scrolling down. So, I'm not speaking from hot air. I'm not speaking from. Uh, from theory, I'm speaking from direct experience. And I'm telling you that you are awake, but you're not consciously awake. You don't think you're awake. You don't believe you're awake. You do not, let's shall we say, understand that you're awake. Because it's not a matter of believing, okay, I believe I'm awake, I believe I'm awake, I really, really do. God Almighty, I hope this works and I wake up, right? <laughs> I remember when I did that in the sense that they always told me that as long as you're looking, that you can't, uh, you, as long as you're seeking, you can't wake up. And so I made up my mind, as so many of us have, I've talked to others, who decide, okay, that's it, damn it, I'm not seeking anymore, I'm not seeking anymore. That's it, I'm done with seeking, I'm going to get rid of my books, I'm going to quit meditating, I'm, I'm done with seeking. Golly, I hope God buys into this better than I do because I can't stop seeking, right? So I would just pretend to stop seeking in, in the hopes that I would trick awakening into occurring, right? That I would trick God into, into pulling the veil. Well, let me tell you something. There's no veil. Just like they have the gateless gate, it's a veilless veil. Why do you think they call it the gateless gate? Because you're already awake. <laughs> you don't have to go through some other gate to some other place. You don't have to accomplish anything more. You don't need another book. You don't have, you know the the, the 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 truth is is that when people come to me and then and then and and in after they've woken up and I say you see I'm just like all the rest of those old Zen rascals I'm selling water by the river, that's what the old Zen masters used to say. So 
where there people would ask him, what are you doing? And they were saying, well, we're selling water by the river. Would you like a bucket of our special water? Okay, great. Here, take this. And then don't forget to leave a tip in the box there, okay? Because i got to buy some rice. Folks, you got to put on, you got you to gotta kill this story of future. You really do. You can wake up right now. You can wake up this week. You can wake up this day. You can wake up this hour or this minute. But you can, but you can easily come to an initial awakening. I'm not talking about we're going to be Ramana Maharshi. Hell, I've been awake over 10 years. I ain't Ramana Maharshi. I thought I would be. And, you know, there's no hubris in that. <laughs> You know, the, the, when I first woke up, the first, the first, when thought returned, the very first thing that went through my head was Buddha never got here. <laughs> God, if, if, you know, my Zen master would have beat me with a heavy stick about then just to get my attention. Would have told me, no, it's not, it's not that big a deal after all. So, but it had, that's the way I felt both times. I mean, the, the, uh, uh, my, I had an initial awakening in 92. I had another one in 2006. I've had a bunch since then. But those first two really stand out. So at any rate, I'm done. I don't want to make this too long because then you'll have another story of future. His damn video. If it just end his video. I could wake up now, but now he's just ranting and raving. So I hope you found this helpful. And uh, come see me. Come at awakeningclaritynow.com. Now that's my website. You'll find lots and lots of re uh, free resources and um, lots and lots of interesting stuff. So uh, c come see me in Satsang, and I'll see you later. Bye now.